Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do a matte transition in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page, I'm going to share with you how to do a cool matte transition. Uh, to do that, you will need your two clip where you're going to put the transition in between and you're going to need a matte which is essentially a black and white clip representing some shape uh, changing. And then we just play in here with the composite mode to just create a transition between the two clips. I've gathered a bunch of those over the years, but you can easily uh, find it by just searching on the internet for free mat. There is plenty of pack out there that you can download and start using. Now I'm gonna also show you how to create this from scratch here on DaVinci Resolve. But also towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to create, you know, a mat with uh, the basic built-in transition in DaVinci Resolve. But first off, how to work with a mat that you already have, that you've already downloaded from the internet. So basically here, you're just gonna bring your mat, then you're just gonna bring it on top of your second clip on the second track. And then you're just gonna layer the first clip right above it. Here, we're just gonna make a cut at the beginning. Just drag that down. Now it's layout properly. We have our first clip here. We got after it our second clip and we basically layered a part of the end of the first clip and in between we get the mat. Now we're just gonna click on this clip. Then we're just gonna go over to composite mode. We're gonna scroll down and here we're just gonna select foreground. Then we're gonna select our mat. And then in composite mode here, we're just gonna scroll down and here you're gonna select either loom or inverted loom. It just basically depends on the black and the white acting in your mat. So for this specific one, I think we're gonna have to go with inverted loom uh, because as you can see, now it's just create that nice transition. But if we were to select loom, it will basically just do the opposite. So here, instead of transitioning, it will just go back to the second clip and go back to the other one. So we want to select inverted loom for this one. Let's play it. Here we go. We got a simple transition with a mat. Now, what if you don't have any of those mat and you want to create it from scratch? Well, it's pretty easy to do. So here, for example, you're gonna go down to generator. We're gonna bring a solid color here in our timeline. Then we're gonna go over to video transition. Here, I'm gonna use, for example, an hexagon and we're gonna just drop that on the solid color. But as you can see, it can allow us to create something quite similar. So here, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna reduce a bit the transition. So the speed is a bit quicker like that. And now I'm just gonna select my solid color and then I'm gonna hold option and drag my solid above. If you're on Windows, that's gonna be holding Alt and then dragging that above. I'm gonna zoom a little bit more here and I'm gonna just move that forward, maybe three frame. Then with the second one still selected, I'm gonna just go above in video and change the color here to white. Now if we play it, as you can see, we have the beginning of something. We're just gonna duplicate that and replicate. So holding option again, duplicating this and move it forward about the same distance. So three frame here, three frame here, three frame here. All right, let's play it. Perfect, we got our mat. Now we can just go towards the end right here, select everything, just make a cut, delete the excess. And here we can just select the rest, right click, create a new compound clip. And here we go, we got our mat. Now let's just bring that and replace it with the one we had before. I'm just gonna delete it, add this one instead, then trim the clip above so it match the same duration at all matte. And now I can just click on the matte, change the composite mode down here to inverted. And now let's play it. Perfect, we create our own matte transition from scratch. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.